remember an Irish playwright saying to me once, we were at a picnic out in the country, and he looked at me and he said, you know, I know this scene. I've seen it so many times in American movies, and it, it's familiar, but it's so different. see it on a movie or on a TV series, but when you're there and you can smell something a little different when the corn is ripening in, in Iowa in the summer, or uh, when you can catch a whiff of the Quaker Oats factory from Cedar Rap is not so great, but it's, it's part of that life. When you get the textures of a place, you begin to get the details that, that writers depend on. Broken is the shape of everything. Like yesterday, like memory. Now is so large. The present is everywhere. We break them into pieces and they are all we have. They are all we can carry into tomorrow. Broken bits. It is the shape of everything. Uh, my name is Christopher Merrill. I direct the International Writing Program at the University of Iowa, which since 1967 has been bringing the writers of the world to the university for a unique residency. We look for early to mid-career writers, but what we're really thinking about is where their minds are. The openness to experiences is what we're looking for. And what we find year after year is that there is much more common ground among writers than, than one would even imagine. I remember it well running away from home in pajamas and in the thrice bigger shoes of my father. This urge I still retain except that the shoes are too small for me now. They come to Iowa to write, uh, to translate their works, to do research, to interact with other writers. We call the program the United Nations of Writers. I remember meeting in Jerusalem a wonderful Israeli poet, Rani Smolik, who said to me, the great thing about being in the IWP was that coming from the, a small country like I do, I would never have the chance to meet writers from as many places. As I, as I met in Iowa City. So the world just became bigger. Iowa City, as you know, was just named a UNESCO City of Literature, the third in the world after Edinburgh and Melbourne. And uh, I like to say that Iowa City is the one place in America where you can, you can say that you're a poet and nobody will laugh. And so it's a place where the, the word is honored. We have a great library, we have a wonderful reading series at the bookstore. Our feeling is if it will help the writer get their work done, help them in any possible way. So that means anecdotes, that means stories, that means contacts with different kinds of people, different kinds of audiences. The air is so clean here, above the clouds. You can breathe deep, so deep, you don't have to be afraid. But it's important that you breathe correctly until you feel you become light, very light. And the air is like the seawater, keeps you on the surface. And there is nothing left for you but to softly move your wings. IWP, the, as I said, the chief priority is writing. But we also take them on hikes in the area. We take them uh, uh, to farms. We take them to a, a harvest dinner year after year. Uh, we take them to a rodeo. And as you can imagine, to have uh, 20 or 30 writers from abroad at a, at a, at a rodeo and Fort Mason, Iowa, that's, I think that's a kind of cultural exchange on, on both sides. I think that in, in many ways, the writers go back, they write books about Iowa, about the IWP, about America, and I think at the end of the day, if you add all of those, those writings up, and newspaper columns and magazine articles and interviews that they do when they come back, and, and the general goodwill that they, they tend to feel toward the United States after the fact, that it begins to present a different picture of the United States, a picture that is more nuanced than it might have been.